in the previous lecture i configured routing for our angular application and i created routes for our home page login page registration page post page and post gate page in this lecture i'm going to add navigation bar to navigate one page to another page in our angular applications and i will also tell you how we can make that navigation links active inactive dynamically in our applications according to the routes and i will also tell you how we can navigate one page to another page programmatically in our angular applications i am using bootstrap in our angular applications so we can use bootstrap navbar for the navigation links so i will copy this code for the navbar you will get it from getbootstrap.com you can use it and i will paste that code inside our app component.html file inside this div you can create a separate component for the navbar or you can use it inside your app component.html file so let's paste this code here for the navigation bar and then i will remove this links from here and i will also remove this from here in our application there will be post link and then let's add another links for post create and let's add another two links one is for login and another is for registration so this will be login because we already created routes for these pages right that is why we are adding the links here so that we can navigate one page to another page okay save this file and then let's add some styles for our navbar so let's go to our style.css file and let's use this class to add some styles because if i check our browser you see there is no padding on the left so i will add some padding so let's add padding left 10 pixel okay save this file and you see now we have some padding on the left side bar so our home page is now active but i see that there is no styling for the active button right so what we can do we can add some styling for that active links also navbar dot li dot active and then let's add some background style for the active links background color and let's say let's say this color or i can use this color this is as per your choice you can use it okay right now our home page is active right and it is all the time active we will make this dynamic according to the route later so now what i will do i will provide the links to this anchor tag right so we cannot use href if we use href for the links then there will be a page refresh right in our angular application how we will navigate the user one page to another page from this link we need to use one directive called router link and if we use that router link instead of href then there will be no page refresh so let's add the directive called router link here so let's add router link and we need to provide the link here so for the home page the link is blank that is why we do not need to provide anything here and for that post page the link is post right so if i check our app routing module you see the routes are defined here right now let's provide the routes for that post kit page so this will be router links post slash create and let's add links for the login page this will be login and let's add links for the registration page this will be registered okay save this file and check the browser and click on this post link now you see we are redirecting to the page successfully right so this is how we can provide the links here in our angular application or you can use any uh, square bracket for this directive and if we use square bracket then we need to provide property here okay so let's say inside our app component dot ts file we have one property called post link and inside this property we define that post link right so the post link is post right and if we want to use this post link in this router link then we need to provide this property here if we 
wrap this router link inside square bracket okay then you need to provide the property link here okay now this will work fine okay and another thing i will tell you and if you want to use this square bracket and you want to provide that links directly here you can provide it inside this quotation okay let's provide post here save this file this will also work and then i'm going to tell you another thing and that is how we will make that active class dynamic okay because right now all the time our home page is active right home page link is active but this should not be like this right so how we'll make this active class dynamically for the links for that what we need to do we need to use another directive called router link active okay and to provide the class or to look the class for the active links so in our case the class will be active so i will use it for all the li tags for the links let's add it here also and now if i refresh the browser you see for the post link our home page is active and post page link is also active why this is happening because this route matching our home route also right that is why our home page link is also active post link is also active but this should not be like this right i mean for the home page only when it will match our base url then our home page link should be active then how we will do it for that what we need to do we need to provide another option here and this time this will be router link option for the exact routing match we need to add this active class dynamically right so we can provide another option called router link active options or option i think i need to wrap this inside square bracket and we need to provide exact true here let's provide exact true okay save this file and i think that this should be active options right yeah check it now yeah this is working go to our home page post page post kit page and for the post kit page we can also add this right because for the exact match we are going to add this active class right that is why we need to use it for all the links save this file go to our home page so has already been closed by another tag right i think i missed something yeah let's leave it back yeah use it here i think i copy the wrong uh, wrong thing right so we need to copy only this not with the tag copy and paste it here save this file and go to that url you see now our link is active whenever we are navigating to the exact path right so this is how we can provide that active class dynamically in our nav links in our angular applications right now what i will tell i will tell you that how we can provide another value like uh, let's say uh, parameter right so how we can provide parameter for the routes suppose for our post detail page suppose we need to go to our post detail page from that url right so we do not have any post detail page and we do not have any parameters inside our route so for now i will create one route for our post detail page we do not have any post detail page so how we can do it for the parameter we need to provide colon and then we need to provide the id and for now let's load this post list component for now and save it and suppose you want to navigate to this page right from this link then how you can navigate for that how, how we will navigate i need to provide one array here and inside this array in the first parameter we need to provide the links and in the second parameter we need to provide the id let's say 10 and now save this file and let's click on this post link you see now we have this post and we have this parameter here right so i'll not make this now so i'll create that page later when i will discuss about 
route resolver or route parameters i uh, will discuss about that later so for now let's go big save this file so for our home page uh, yeah page is working fine right we are navigating successfully from one page to another page now i will tell you how we can navigate one page to another page programmatically in our angular applications so if i go to our post page right so if we want to navigate from our home page from our post list page or from the post key page if we want to go to our post page then how we will do it so for our navigation inside our post key page so let's open our post key page inside our post key page dot post key component dot html file we want to add we want to add one back button right so i want to add one back button so let's add anchor tag and let's add back to post okay and let's add some class btn btn success and these are bootstrap classes and yeah we have this back to post button here okay let's remove this btn success let's add btn only yeah we have this back to post button here right and we want to navigate to our uh, post page on click on this button right so what i will do i'll add one on click method here so let's add click method and on clicking on this button we'll call one method call back to post page okay back to post page and we need to create this method inside our post create component.ts file so let's create one method here call post back, back to post and from this from this method we want to navigate the user to the post page right so how we will do it on now let's alert one message call post and i want to confirm that button is triggering yeah it is triggering now we want to navigate the user to the post page so for the redirection from that ts file how will do it so first of all we need to inject router right so let's add one parameter here call private router and we need to inject a router here okay so that we can use angular router for the navigation okay now we can use this router to navigate the user to that post page so let's use this dot router dot navigate and then we need to provide that square bracket and inside the square bracket we need to provide that path so we want user to go to that post page right now if i check that yeah we are on this post create page click on this back to post you see we are redirecting back to that post page right from this post create page right so this is how we can navigate one page to another page programmatically in our angular application we can also navigate the user by using navigate by url method okay by url method and for by url we do not need to provide any square bracket here just need to provide the path okay click on this post create and click on this back to post you see it is redirecting so this is how we can use nav links and how we can make that active inactive dy dynamically for that links how we can provide active options and how we can navigate the user programmatically in our applications to learn right so in the next lecture i'm going to tell you how we can create child routing in our angular application and i will also tell you about absolute path and relative path in our angular application so stay connected